What an incredible upside jump in the after hours as GME announces a massive catalyst. The reaction was instant for AMC and it pushed both of the assets into new highs for the immediate short term. Let's pop open the hood for the continuation signals as this has shifted volatility for an upside. Welcome back to the channel on this Saturday. This is Arca and let's dive into the popcorn. Let's kill him. What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Please do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, do everything necessary to get this thing to live long, thrive and survive. Let's go ahead and pop open this first screen here. We're going to observe AMC, right? But the reason AMC was running to the upside is because of GameStop's complete uh, the, the GameStop uh, at the market equity offering program for an approximate $933.4 million cash in hand, right? So this is actually the news that popped open both of the assets for a massive, massive upside, right? So before we, you know, people were going insane on X, posting the, uh, posting the, uh, the charts going up to the, uh, going to the upside here in a very violent fashion, right? Guys, the close. The close in the post hours today was a very bullish close. We had a new high penetrated new areas, right? And this leaves people with a long people this leaves people with an anxiety over a long weekend. And this could potentially shift the sentiment entirely for both AMC and GME. And that could include a continuation to the upside. So we gotta be ready for the coming week okay you guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the options flow right so let's go ahead and shift over to this side and take a look at the open interest here for amc right so yes guys i know that i'm seeing here a massive amount of numbers from the call side and from the put side right these are your expertise right up here and these are your strike prices I, I i get it right i see i see the i see both ends like kind of uh they look like they're uh, equal right so when this happens we got to take a look at overall numbers but if i'm going to shed light on anything here there is you know there are some uh curious numbers like for example uh hold on just a sec yeah for example right over here let me just see if i can get that uh, uh push all the way over there there we go yeah, right over here, we have a 52,373 open interest at the uh, January 16th, 2026 calls at the $12 expiry, right? And we have we have over here almost a 40,000 open interest at the $10 strikes for the June 21st. That's nice, right? We also have some very large numbers here into the 15 strikes. These are the 15, uh, 15 strikes for the more immediate short term. And then still right over here, right, we are looking at a very curious 84,800 uh, uh, $20 strikes, right? A huge open interest in that area there. We have some at the 27s right over here too. But all of these, I will say that they're call size, right? This is 20, 20, 20. And these over here are 27s and 27s. So when it's difficult for us to determine who's beating who, because there's a lot of green on both ends, let's go ahead and just take a look at the term here and just observe the obvious uh, numbers right here, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the difference between your call side and the put side for the expiries, right? So clearly, very clearly, every single... Every single term has the bulls on top, right? They are certainly betting for the upside here more than not. So let's go ahead and shift the 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 uh, uh, the screens over here so we can go ahead and take a look at the chart now. Guys, this was a very bearish formation here that we completely rejected today and then continued on to the upside. This is an ascending broadening wedge and usually when you get three tests of the resistance you get the fourth as a bull you get the fourth test as a shakeout right that i'm sorry not a shakeout this would be a fake out right so it's not going to reach the test all the way and then you'll get that you'll, you'll get that upward pump here thing and people that is you know faking people out is going to continue again but no the third test usually follows that huge capitulation get the fake outs and then this would be around the time where we start breaking down to get into the take profit target that is usual for this asset to be faced at the genesis of the formation, right? Right down here, it would have been around that target of about $4.30, but we rejected massively today. All right, team. So now what happened? 
we created something very curious and this is already telling me that this is a symptom of invalidating a total bear play right here and what could that be well usually when we come back up for that fourth wave the fake out wave this is it that is usually the top we never come back to see that level again. In fact, the breakdown happens and we just come back down here and then later on in the future, we can see what it's like. But today we did make a new break of a break of that structure. We hit the target that we were observing dead in the money. We were talking about our eyes not letting go of the five dollar and twenty five cent zone. If you've been watching my videos, if you've been live with me, you know that this is the target we kept our eyes on and we hit it to freaking day. Check it out. Hovering over the hovering over the candle like this, the OHLC will tell you what target that is. Take a look. I'm going to hover it now. Look at the H. That's right. The H says 525. We marked off 525 right here, team, and we hit it dead on the money, right? Bullseye. So, guys, let's go ahead and see now the continuation for this. I have a few thoughts here for you, right? But look at this. Three-hour time frame structure. Yeah, huge volatility. I get it. Lots of swings here, but still very, very bullish, right? So, let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, at another perspective here uh this is the five day time frame guys and i will say that yeah this uh, bottom side here where we ended up reaching that two dollar and 37 uh cent low that still appears to be the very very bottom for the ticker and it still kind of feels like it's going to be continuation this is a five day so it hasn't seen the post hours activity check it out you're at four dollars and 84 cents right here but we hit today all the way up here right very very interesting times right here okay team so let's go ahead and please remember that i'm definitely offering the four to five week crash course mentorship program for beginner traders make sure to get in touch with me at arcmasterscourse at gmail.com because the enrollment will be closing soon as the lectures are going to start here pretty fast okay you guys i want to see you in class i want to see you make a change let's go ahead and become consistent traders and disciplined traders and everything will be cool cool in the market for our uh for our portfolios right you guys so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart over here and see what we have for us uh, for, uh, for our observation right so amc five minute time frame it is critical for us to to, to uh identify the breaks out of this orange moving average which is the EMA 200. That's, our, that's your 200 period exponential moving average. And we want to make sure that we can stay above that moving average in order for us to get continuation. But yes, you guys, this is, yeah, we're, we're on our way right now. We're making a series of higher highs, higher lows. We got the anxiety building over the weekend because of GameStop's massive beat, right? It's going to build on people's heads, right? And this is just going to, you know, people are going to be convinced uh, come Monday. Not financial advice, right? But... Let's go ahead and take a look at another per, uh, perspective here. I want to take a look at volatility versus uh, versus uh, momentum and uh, see how we're building, right? So let's go to the 30 minute time frame and uh, you, oh you, well, yeah, that was the that was the thrust that we got towards the downside after we got that big push up, but. As we got that big push to the upside right here, the hourly time frame, of course, using this uh, downforce did face a little bit of pressure. But what does it leave us with, though? Check this out on the buy hourly time frame. We have a huge push to the upside on stochastic momentum. It looks like we're starting to get a little bit of curvature here for volatility, which means that the disbursement of returns are going to start coming in. We're going to start getting volatile in our direction bias for the immediate short is up. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the three hour time frame upside pivot over here and i'm already noticing the flattening it's already flattening the uh, volatility line there from that from that continuation of contraction as we contract lesser and lesser transactions are coming in but when this shift towards the upside transactions start to speed up that rate right the frequency starts to get tighter and people are coming in more and more so let's look at the four hour time frame to see if the stochastic momentum indicator has an upside pivot four hour time frame nice it looks like we do have that four hour upside pivot as well we have flattened out on volatility it looks like we have some pretty signals coming pretty good signals coming in the six hour time frame as well this one is already kind of pivoted towards the upside very nice and the eight hour time frame of course probably just getting an immediate short with an upside yeah you guys all the way consistent to six hour time frames this shows that we could experience an immediate short term small pullback get the loading zone right and then we'll be able to we'll be able to determine the continuation from there so if we are able to figure out 
a drop or figure out the support area let's use the rsi right here to determine that guys and how am i able to do this well guys i am a stock trading instructor right make sure to get in touch with me and we'll go ahead and get you in to that arc arc master scores but if you want to trade these squeeze plays right the ones that are happening right now like ffie like bned like gwav all of those other plays join the arca bulls trading team I'm, I'll make sure to include a link right up here so that you can go ahead and click on that and I, everything will be pretty good right there, team. I want to see you on the trading floor with us and I definitely want to see you in the Arc Masters course classroom, all right? Make sure to get in touch with us and everything will be good, right? So let's go ahead and identify where the RSI signal is located. I want the RSI signal teal blue line to be above the SMA 14 so that we can identify the SMA 14 as a support. Let's go ahead and uh, dive down the moving average, I'm sorry, the uh, time frames here and see where that potential could be. Getting really close here in the 30 minute. Where's the hourly? All right, the hourly time frame. This is not the one that I'm looking for here, guys. It may be one more time frame down. The reason why is because we're not in the grab. I'm sorry, that we're getting very close to the gravitational zone here. Usually every junction in the RSI has 2% up gravitation and 2% down gravitation. This junction, this one, this one, uh, all of them. All right, so in this case, when we have a downside pivot approaching that gravitational zone, that may pull us to succeed the underside of the SMA 14. So that means that we still have one more one more time frame to look at to find this moving average down here instead for a support from the opposing side's gravitational zone just like this. This is the bi hourly time frame. We need this to come back down here. As we come down, that SMA 14 is going to dive into that opposition zo zone and we're going to get the bounce from not only the SMA 14, but from the gravitational zone as well for a continuation to the upside. Okay, you guys, so where could that be? Since we're observing this on a bi hourly time frame, let's take a look at the average true range within a bi hourly read, right? So take a look right out here. We have about a 23. Uh, 23 3 uh cent average with a tw with a bi hourly candle right so let's just say that we were to open the market here at four dollars and 88 cents which i really doubt on on uh come tuesday i uh, let's i mean <laughs> we would just do uh, you know four four fifty uh four fifty six would, would, would technically be around that uh around that opening right at a full at a full uh, uh bi hourly retrace that 456 is consistent to the bottom side of this range over here right so is there a moving average in there too well we could probably observe uh well well, uh, well i mean i guess we could go a little bit deeper here and let's just see right so 456 uh you know what i think we'll be able to use either the 30 minute time frame which is down to 468 at the sma 200 or oh there it is never mind there there it is the the EMA 200 on the hourly time frame is located at the at the uh at the 456 right down there right so i do think that there could be just this is only if we open at 488 come come tuesday right but if we don't open at 488 i have a, I have a feeling we're probably going to gap up and we're just going to, you know, not follow this plan at all. But if it does happen, if we do open at that 488, there could be a drawdown here to experience a bounce like no other, right? And this thing would just rip to the upside yet again, right? So there are a couple levels to look at. Remember, this is a big if. The SMA 200 located right at 472. That's another area to observe. Okay, you guys. But remember, I do expect this to gap up. I'm not sure that I'm right. I'm not sure that that's what's going to happen. Do not take it as financial advice. I don't know. Okay, you guys. But now you know the downside targets. You know the probabilities of potentially gapping up and uh, the risk. Right, so just make sure to bet what you're willing to what you're willing to lose, guys, because this thing uh, could really tear your butts apart. All right, guys, but I appreciate you. Make sure to join the Archibalds Trading Team, and I want to see you in class. Make a change right away. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming on by. Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment, as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. Never, ever, never, never. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well. A very good, very, very good Memorial Weekend. And I'll catch you at the bell on Tuesday. Adios.